Okay, hi, so welcome to this video where we're going to have a look at an exam style question on microscopes and specifically magnification. So let's dive straight in. It says a bacterial cell is viewed under a light microscope. Okay, the actual length of the cell is four micrometers. Calculate the magnification using the following equation, and that is magnification equals image size over actual size. Right now, what you'll get on an exam paper is an image which probably looks a bit better than this right but you may have to measure it yourself with a ruler in this case you obviously can't measure the screen with a ruler and so i've put the measurement in here right and so if you did measure it with a ruler it came out at five centimeters now if you'd like to have a go please pause the video and have a go at the question if not then i'll walk you through it right now all right so magnification right i'm just going to call it m which we're trying to work out is equal to the image size which is five centimeters divided by the actual size, which is four micrometers. And you might see that written like this. This funny M stands for micro. Now, the problem with this is that I can't do it. I can't do that at the moment because centimeters and micrometers are not the same unit. Anytime you use the magnification equation, you have to convert them into the same unit, right? So I could either convert five centimeters into micrometers, or I could convert four micrometers into centimeters, right? Now, I like dealing with whole numbers, and so I'm going to turn five centimeters into micrometers. And so the way I do that, first of all, I'm going to remember that five centimeters, or one centimeter, is equal to 10 millimeters. So I'm going to say that five centimeters is the same as 50 millimeters, right? Now, you should be aware that one micrometer is a thousand times smaller than a millimeter, right? So for every one millimeter, there are 1,000 micrometers. So the millimeters, if I times by a thousand, makes micrometers. So that makes 50 times a thousand, 50,000 micrometers. And then boom, now your units are the same. Micrometers, micrometers. And so we just carry out this calculation. 50,000 divided by four, or you could do that in your head or in a calculator, that is going to be 12,500, okay? And there are no units, okay? Magnification has no units, hence why these units must be the same. Because when you divide, they boom, boom, cancel out, right? So 12,500 would be the magnification. It's quite a large magnification. Now, next part, it says, if a microscope with a magnification of 5,000 was used to view the same bacterial cell, what size would the image appear? All right, now, we're going to be using the same equation, but we want to work out something slightly different. All right, let's just raise this up so you can see it. What I'm going to say is that this time, M is still equal to, I'm going to say, image size over actual size, right? Because I can't be bothered to write the whole words out. Now, magnification, this time we know, is 5,000, okay? Image size. Now, image size is what we're trying to work out, so I'm going to leave it there. The actual size of the cell is still the actual size um, that, we, that we had previously. We're told that the actual size of the cell is 4 micrometers. So that is 4 micrometers, okay? This question will, will again show you the need for correct units. So I'm just going to scroll down like so, and actually let's just move this over so we have a bit more room. There we go. Now what I would need to do is rearrange this equation to get i on its own. Now i is currently being divided by 4, and so I times both sides by 4, right? Times both sides by 4. Well that's going to cancel the 4 on the bottom of the fraction, which is going to leave me i, and that's going to equal 5,000, which is our magnification, times by our 4 micrometers, okay? Now, 5,000 times 4 is going to give me 20,000. Yep, notice that the 4 was 4 micrometers, and 5,000 has no units. So it's just a number times by micrometers is going to give us micrometers, okay? So our cell is going to appear on our paper as 20,000 micrometers. Now, I don't like that unit. Um... Just because, you know, we never measure something on a piece of paper in micrometers, right? So I'm going to say, if I want to convert that, that's the same as saying there are 1,000 micrometers in a millimeter. So if I divide by 1,000, that gives me 20 millimeters, okay? We could leave it like that, or I could say that is the same as saying 2 
centimeters. All of those would be correct. Okay, I would say that these ones are nicer because on our ruler we can measure in those. But if it didn't ask for the units, then all three of those answers would be fine. Okay, so that was just a quick question. I'm going to stop there. If you have any questions, please post them below or send me a direct email using the link. But please like and subscribe as usual because it helps me out and you'll be notified when new videos become available. But thanks for listening. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.